Welcome to History Bedtime Stories in our pajamas in bed. And tonight is the 11th night in our continuing series of presidential pets. 11th night, 11th president, we're talking about James K. Polk, James Knox Polk, the 11th president of the United States of America. He is the first American president to come to the White House with absolutely no pets. He is a Democrat, although he's a big advocate for the Jacksonsonian party. He really came up under Andrew Jackson and was a huge supporter of him. As president, he served from 1845 until 1849, and historians of the presidency support Polk in that every major goal he set out to achieve, he did in a single term as president, including the Mexican secession. This was the Mexican-American War, which in a large way President Polk helped provoke in order to extend America's land, America's territory. He brings in through the Mexican-American War most of the states that become the American Southwest. He is also uh, there to annex the Republic of Texas and make it an American territory and later state. And he settles a dispute over the territory of Oregon with the British, bringing Oregon in under the 49th parallel as an American territory. But he does all this with no pets. Not a dog, not a cat, not even a horse. He says... No president who performs his duty faithfully can have any leisure at all. And to him, that included a pet or children in the White House. But that leaves us in some trouble because with no pets to talk about, we are missing our daily fix. So friends, if you put a photo of your pet down in the comment, whether it's a hamster or a dog or a cat or a bird or a horse or even an alligator, we will, at the end of the week, put them all together, draw out one name, and that lucky winner wins a, in the size of their choice, Detroit History Tour sweatshirt, which we would love to send you by mail on us as a thank you for entering. So all you have to do to enter, give us a photo of your pet down below and tag a friend. Wash your hands, be kind to each other, and we'll see you tomorrow night for Presidential Pets number 12.